What has the Harris campaign been saying to Democrats? They actually haven't told any of their own surrogates anything, including what to tell their donors or even how to understand what happened last night. We don't know what the vice president is going to say this afternoon, aside from conceding this election, because some sources are admitting to me right now the Democrat Party is soul searching. As one person put it, the Democratic Party has no leader right now, period, because they cast Joe Biden, the sitting president, aside and the candidate that they installed lost really big. Not only was the party very far out of touch with the majority of the electorate on big issues like immigration and the economy, but their strategy of telling people not to believe their lying eyes just simply did not work. A few sources are beginning to acknowledge to me that the Democratic Party sort of living within this liberal media echo chamber confirmed internal biases that ended up giving a skewed perception of reality. Part of the autopsy right now is probing whether or not they would have fared better if Joe Biden had stayed in the race. Listen. I think it's hard to look back and talk about what could have or might have or should have been. Um, President Biden has a very strong legislative record uh, of bipartisan accomplishments, but Uh, We are going to have to sit down as a Democratic Party and look hard at why that didn't compel more folks uh, to come out and vote for Democratic candidates, uh, both in the Senate uh, and in our presidential candidate, Vice President Harris. Now, one Harris surrogate told me that all the headlines that we've been watching for the last several weeks were also being read within her circles. And people were raising the alarm, for instance, about her failure to clearly articulate her policy positions and focusing so much on threats to democracy. I think she knows was a mistake was to say on The View that she couldn't think of a single thing that she would do differently from the Biden administration. That was a opener for her to show Americans that she's going to get tough on the border, that she's going to take drastic measures to bring down inflation. That was her chance. The question now is how long did the campaign know that she was going to lose this election? As we pointed out on Monday, over the weekend, they were not sending many positive signals when that early voting data was coming in. And so internally, there is some wonder about whether or not they were all just sort of blinded by hope and how long they knew that her chances were very slim and why that wasn't shared more widely uh, within the Democratic Party circles and the circles within the campaign. Sandra. But I do have an indictment of some of the strategy. And again, the people that said Joe Biden was the problem. Where's my camera? He was not the solution. He okay, was, it's, it's, I will just note that jo- I will just note that it is probably not the best idea that Democrats orchestrated a very public stab fest, a proverbial stabbing in the front of the sitting president of the United States of America and then didn't use him in his hometown of Scranton, Pennsylvania. I will defer so, to Mr. Lewis. So, so 